What's up boys, Shane here, and today I want to talk about Battlefield 5 and Chapter 4 of Tides of War, and how I think it has a good chance to save the game. So Chapter 4 pretty much has 5 maps coming um, in June 27th, there's going to be Al Sudan, sort of a vast North African map, um, Merida comes in, in July, which is continuing the Battle of Greece, um, in August we get two close quarters maps, um, and then we have some Firestorm updates as well. And we're also getting Operation Metro in October, I believe. Um, in September as well, I think we're going to get the Pacific Theater. They showed a little teaser of the Pacific Theater um, towards the end um, of the trailer, which is just got me really hyped for once for this game. I haven't been hyped for this game in a long time, but seeing all these new maps in the Pacific Theater, I think, are really awesome. Um, personally, I would have liked them to, like, release four of these maps in July. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm personally a fan of just having a ton of new maps and content to play all at once. Um, it sort of makes the game feel like a new game for at least like a month rather than just gradually adding smaller bits of content that last just like a few days of enjoyment at a time. Um, but that's just personal preference. Um, I really did like uh, the old sort of DLC pack system where they added multiple maps at once. But at least in August we are getting two maps at once. So. I haven't hopped on to Battlefield 5 in probably about a month since I did my Battlefield 5 is like crap video where it was all buggy for me. Um, but I'm hoping they fix a lot of those bugs and I will definitely hop back onto it in June to play the Al Sudan map. And it looks like this game is getting slowly better. Uh, like I said, the game, once the Pacific Theater comes in, I'm um, in the fall and all set and done by like a year after release, this game will probably be a pretty solid game, especially considering all the content um, is free. So you can get a really um, great game for the price in about a year after launch. Um, sad that we couldn't have a great game at launch, but it is nice to see this game slowly improve and just, yeah, get a ton of new content that is free. I tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section. I just want to do a Battlefield video since I haven't covered the game in a while. I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on in the franchise. But again, boys, that's what it is for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.